with my Andrew Buckle. It's Tutorial. I'm just going to show you the Spaceville plugin. Now this is a plugin that comes with the Collider Scribe set from Astute Graphics. And I'm just going to quickly go over to show you the first part. Just Window and Collider Scribe and Spaceville Panel. That's the key thing. And once you've actually got the panel, actually there's not very much to the panel. Here it is. It's very, very well, you've got various size, very rotation, and also how many copies you can make. And I'm going to show you now how to use it. So just, well, certainly some features of it. I'm certain there's many different. Now I'm just going to go for a very basic, just a rectangle. And I'm going to go for set a color slightly different and another rectangle. Right. Now I've got those. And you've got this very, very large square. And you've got these little uh, squares here as well. Now. The one that's going to be filled is this, and here are these, they're going to be the one that actually fill the design. So I'm just going to select both, or three in fact, and then just go over here and select make. So click that, and scroll away, you can see what happens. It just fills the design with those little blocks. You can actually see it again, release, and see the, those designs there, make, and just, so you can change it as well. So if you decide you don't want the yellow or whatever, you can actually say release and obviously change it. Okay, now you can modify it in a number of ways and I chose two so you can actually see that it just doesn't just work with one pass, it works with three, four, I actually I don't know what the limit is for number of passes it will work with. Obviously the more you have, probably the slower it will get. So, and also you'll see there's a number of copies. So if I say, I'm just gonna go for one, so just one, just to make, well, obviously it's not going to let me go one, just two. So you can actually see two just there and two there. So every obviously shape you create path. So I have two there, obviously you've got two there. So you can see that. Now if I set copies now three, you can see now you've got, now you can actually see it's actually quite in a nice little grid, fairly good grid. Actually if you go for outlines, to be honest, there's only very subtle difference between it. I'm certain it's uh, that's the method. Centers, I think centers is a bit quicker than outlines. So but I might be wrong. It seems to be about the same on my machine to be honest. So so if you go for copies and you can keep increasing, you can see the copies, and it just spreads it all over the designs. So they're random placed. Now you can actually I've got here uniformity. Again, you can put that down and then. Uh, the spread is basically much the same. It sort of deviates a bit from a, so you can just see sort of like a grid there. You go for uniformity minus, it looks less on that grid. But frankly, once you get to about 40 or 50 copies, I really can't tell the difference, to be honest. And what you can do, and I'm just going to go, I prefer, I must admit, that side, and also go for centers and just randomize. So you can just randomize, just play around with that and just see what you like. You can also go for seed and I'm just gonna go there, put one. Now, unfortunately, obviously you can, there's no sort of, just gonna quick come over there, space field preferences and there, there's no actual option to save that. So if you don't remember it's six or seven, you, there's no sort of preset feature here. So you've just got that. But you can sort of say, oh, six, it does that. So if you go there, seven, eight, nine, I'm just going the up and down, and you can see them change. So if I go back to six, now you can see six. If I go back, so it's big yellow there. If I go to one, changes. If I go back to six again, and you can see that's there. So basically you can remember in terms of where the positions are. Okay. Normally I just go randomise, to be honest, I just prefer just to randomise. Now, there's also some other options, I'm just going to quickly show you those as well. And that's resize all fill in art. And I'm just going to release it first, so you can see the size there, so they, that size. Now, if I actually make that 100, and I'm going to set the other things back, I don't want very size, so I'm going to set that. And you can see that there, that's the size that the original sort of blocks were made of. So basically you can now just go over there and say instead of 100% you can say 200% and you can see they now doubled in size. So basically that's a, it's a nice feature. It's 
obviously you can just do it outside. But the nice thing is, it's within the actual tool, so that's really quite good. So you can just set that to 50 and make it smaller if you decide that that's what you want, small size. You don't have to keep releasing, going back in, changing it. Anyway, now, there's also, unfortunately, there's no feature for selection from symbols or etc. that you can use. So basically, you, you've still got to release it if you want to change the actual design, but you can at least change the size. Now I'm going to go for 100% because it makes it clearer to see that. Now, you can also vary size. Now, vary size, what does that do? Well, that just goes over there. And you can actually set that, say, 3. Now, that really just sets the value randomize it you can actually see you've got small and it's you hover over there you can actually see it overall if any filling art is random it's going up or down by the specific so you can actually get some randomization you can get smaller as well as bigger obviously up to three times the size so you can also get half size as well obviously that's clearly smaller so it does allow for that sort of varying of size personally most of the time I, I normally just go for about 1.5 perfectly happy with that sort of randomization but you can you can set it up to 10 I mean you, you can fill the holes in say 10 and you can see you get some very big blocks and again randomize you can just just click there and just keep randomizing and you get a whole range of different designs using that so put it down again to 1.5 now next thing is actually I'm gonna get rid of it I don't want that varying of that and I don't particularly need that either but I'm going to show you varying of vary rotation. So click that. And unfortunately, there's no actual like, 0 to 180 or anything. So you can just vary the rotation as between 0 and 360, and that's it. So you can see the, and again, you've still got exactly the same number. So there's eight copies there. I did two. So that counting them. Yeah, 16. Okay. I'm going to go more now. So 50. It's a bit slower sometimes, but it's quite quick actually bang stunning now so there's the actual seat and you can see them all being rotated at different angles that's using that very much personally I always keep that on I, I'm quite happy with that but of course if you want to create a like a, a more grid like design just set that and you can see it's all just nicely in lines and you can see again this uniformity set there it's all and more uniform anyway outlines again there are subtle differences, very subtle, frankly. Perfectly happy with that. Now, also, of course, like you've got multiply thing that now you can of course set it back. But that really isn't much use. But I guess there are some uses for that if you've got. I'm not certain. Actually, <laughs> personally, I always keep it on. So um, once you've done that, you can actually go there, 100. I'm going for 100 now. You can actually fill the whole design very quickly using that. And I'm going to say, now expand. That's it. So you've got the design. So now you can actually just use them just as normal parts. You can actually go and select that. Now, just drag that over. You can also ungroup. And that's a group there. So you can actually then manipulate that space field there. And obviously, you don't have to keep it with the original. And it's quite a nice design, abstract art design on it in its own right. And of course, you can modify those with other effects if you wish. Now. I'm going to undo that now after doing all that. So I'm going to go back there. You can also, of course, just select that and then maybe just use Pathfinder and you can then create these sort of cut through designs. So you can actually, if you add another path there, I'm just going to quickly do that. You can see that I can frame centre back just so you can actually see it. So you can see it's actually cut through that design called standard feature of Pathfinder. So undo all those. I don't want that now. I'm going to go back to, I'm just going to get it to before it actually did that. So that's the general thing of that. But you can say release. So I'm releasing that because I don't want that. I don't want those blocks. What I want now is something different, a bit more exciting than stars. So I'm just going to, now you don't have to delete those ones. You can still keep those. And I'm going to set that green, set that to purple, and then select that. And you don't have to have obviously a square, so you can so you can do that, make, and then you've got stars filling that, which is quite nice. Okay, nice. So you don't have to have that one, you can actually just go and say circle like that, and again go for a star, obviously different colour, otherwise it's gonna 
not show at all and you can reduce the size a bit and make and there you've got a nice little star design and it's still live so you can actually go and change it and say randomize it's just a really nice so again you apply all these different settings then you set it to 200 maybe as well at some point it actually goes too much you can go to say 300 and it, and it will do it and you can see that you're actually getting they all start overlapping and you'll end up with just basically solid green which may be not particularly what you want now i'm going to put it down to 30 something a bit more sensible and again like i say you can expand it what you can also do of course you can use a window and appearance i'm just going to go over there and you can say add a new fill and of course then you can just go over here to that new fill and just say darken and change color say to red and go with pasty maybe change that and you can vary that and also see it make a difference and so on and so on and of course you can still do the effect is still live so you can actually just play around with it and change it still as well so now you've got that you can also and that doesn't stop there there's actually a few more features i quickly want to show and that's great quick star design and you can actually use type so i'm just going to very basic type and i'm going to change that to blue and i'm going to create another one maybe right and i'm going to go for a different color there okay so you've got that and you can select that and those designs as long as they're smaller no problem now for, so just go over to make and, and then you can obviously fill that and you can again increase the size so you number of copies set number of copies and you can see the effect and again vary rotation so make it like that or vary size and so on and so on so there's a whole range of different things you can do with type as well well i could obviously continue on with you can obviously just reminding myself groups that's another feature that's really really quite nice so now i'm just going to quickly go over here to the rectangle tool and groups so you want that and you want you don't want those separate paths you want them to maybe be things so i'm going to have that red i have that green and i'm going to have that black because i want a shadow and i'm just going to move that there now object and group that's the key thing and you can actually then i'm just going to resize that slightly and then select both of those and now we can make and you can see now you've actually got obviously very rotation makes it a bit hard to see but you can actually see now you've actually got it hasn't moved away they haven't sort of separated off so you can actually see them together so all of those shadows are all in the thing again release you can then obviously manipulate that modify that design maybe make it like that and make and again see that now also i've been showing them fills so what you can do you can also use it with i'm just going to select that uh, maybe make that black and also you can go over here and i'm just going to do a quick curvature tool and just quickly create that and here and i want to make it red and i'm going to go for something a bit better than six and i'm going to go for that okay so now i've got a nice variable width and i've got stroke which i'm going to make slightly smaller than that and make sense it does actually use it so you can select that you could of course have more than that you could have another one as well why not throw caution to the wind and just go whoops undo paint i don't want that i want to go for green there select both of those and the obviously the pass you can only fill and then you can say make and then you see you've got the design there now it's not particularly great in that case it obviously fills it too much so say 20 make it a bit more clearer and you can also vary the thing i'm going to go for resize and maybe 40 make it a bit smaller and also very rotation so you can then create a very abstract sort of scribbled design just using the space fill with strokes so that's really quite useful feature and of course again you can just say release you don't have to keep in mind you suddenly think oh i don't actually like that one but i like that one so you can actually vary it maybe change the color again always always changes the color that you don't want to change you want to actually change the anyway, have to select that now 
and you can make it smaller maybe and squeeze that around there and tweak that a little bit more, stretch it out and, and then select that and then make and you see again another design. So there's a whole range of different designs you can create using that. Doesn't end there as well. What you can do, also effect. So you can go to, and obviously you can use other effects. I'm not going to go through all the effects. That would be terrible. Just go through every single one. Why not? Now I'm just going to go for extrude, 3D and extrude. So good old 3D extrude and preview. And what you can see is the effect obviously is, it renders the artwork, does a bit of processing, thinks about it, ponder it. Yes, no, going to do it. It will do it. Anyway, there it is. It's done it. So you can actually use that and it's still live. So you can actually see the effect actually ends up there. So it works better actually when, when you don't use that one. That's uh, just going to go for a quick design just to show you that feature. So, because that's quite slow, not the quickest of effects, but use that and use that and then make. So you've got that design. And I'm going to undo make that because I didn't. It's probably best with blue. Never seems to look so great with black. So, right now I'm just going to go for extrude and bevel just quickly. There, and you can see the design there now. Right, we've actually got there finally. So you've actually got this space and it's done it there. And you've got the design. Well, what you can do, you can still randomize. You can actually just change the design very quickly and also make it faulty there as well. So you can just randomize and you can still release it. So you can release and say, don't like that one, I'm going to go for yellow. So, and make. And weirdly, it actually loses the effect. That's not a great feature, but anyway, you still quickly go bring back, ah, click on there. Okay, so that's a run through of quite a few features, I think, of the Spacefill. It's a great plugin. It's a brilliant one. It's part of Kaleidoscope, and there's great features within that as well. There's a couple other options, such as Snap2 and other things. They're great. Really great little tools. Now, you can find that on the Astute Graphics website, and you can also find some uh, tutorials on the Graphic Extras website. Actually, quite a few Graphic Extras tutorials about those plugins and uh, lots of ideas about how to use them. Hope you found this of interest, and please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel and visit graphicextras.com. Thank you much.